All right, here's number 14. Find all the values that make the triangles congruent. Well, if these triangles are going to be congruent, um, there, are, uh, there are a couple of ways that could happen. Obviously, the, the shared side here is congruent, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that. But one possible ways, uh, way that these triangles could be congruent is that um, maybe, for example, this side, the 2x plus 3, is congruent to this side, the 7x minus 12. We don't know that for a fact, but this is a, something that we can try. Um, if that's the case, then that would mean this side, negative x plus 14, would be congruent to this side, 6x minus 7. All right, so let's, let's imagine that this is the way that the triangles are congruent. There's only one other possible way, so let's just try this one and see if it works. Um, so, if this is the congruence, sort of matched up opposite like this, then we can make some equations to solve. For example, okay, the way I have it marked, it's possible that the 2x plus 3 should correspond to the 7x minus 12. These sides should be equal. If that's true, then I can make that equation. I can make the equation 2x plus 3 should equal 7x minus 12. And let's solve this and see if we get a valid answer. So, if we subtract 2x from both sides, then that's going to give us 3 equals 5x minus 12. Adding 12x, I mean adding 12 to both sides, that's going to give us 15 equals 5x. Dividing both sides by 5, okay, that's going to give us x equals 3. Okay, so this is a possible solution, but to be sure that this is really a value of x that would uh, make this congruent. Um, let's take this x equals 3 and, and plug it back into these expressions. Okay, let's, what if I plugged in 3 right here for x? And also, what if I took my 3 and I also plugged it in here for x? What would happen? Well, on this side, look at the 7x minus 12 feel like changing colors now. Okay, this would become 7 times 3 minus 12. Alright, that is 21 minus 12, which is 9. Okay, <clears throat> so that makes this side of the, tri of the uh, triangle equal to 9. Now, let's look at this one over here, the 2x plus 3. If I take this 3 and I plug it in for x, okay, let me bring this down where I have some space here. That's going to make this become 2 times 3 plus 3. That's going to make this become 6 plus 3. Oh, look at that. That value makes this side also 9. Okay, so by letting x be 3, <clears throat> I do in fact have congruent sides like I'm supposed to. This side will be congruent to that side. Okay, um, for thoroughness, let's check out these other two sides. Alright, let's look at the uh, 6x minus 7 and the negative x plus 14. Um, okay, if x is 3 still, okay, because we're looking for one value of x that's going to work everywhere. If x is 3, um, okay, let me do the 6x minus 7 first. I'm going to take this and put it way over here. Okay, this will become 6 times 3 minus 7. So that's going to be 18 minus 7, and that's going to be 11. 
Okay, so that would be the value of this side of the triangle. Okay, now let's look at the negative x plus 14 part. All right, I'm going to put that over here near this other one. So if I do that, this is going to become negative, let's see, I have negative x plus 14. So that's going to be negative 3. See, I'm just plugging in the 3 still right here. So that'll be negative 3 plus 14. Oh, look, that makes 11 again. Okay, so at the end of the day, if I let x be 3, for the green side, I'm going to get 11. If that happens, this will be 11, and this will be 11. And for the purple sides, I got 9. So this would be 9, and this would be 9. Okay, so, um, so we are getting these uh, sides to be congruent just like we wanted, which would, in fact, make the triangles congruent. So x equals 3 is definitely a solution. The only question is, are there any more solutions? Okay, um, I really don't want to make you sit through all that over again, but the only other possibility would be, and uh, okay, <clears throat> I need a clean space to show anything at all, so this is the same picture again. But remember, on the previous picture, <clears throat> I looked at, um, I looked at sort of opposite sides being congruent, like this. Opposite sides being congruent. But we don't know, we, we didn't know that that was the only possible way. What if the sides that are near each other are congruent? Like maybe these two sides are congruent. And maybe these two sides are congruent, for example. So I feel like we should check that out, shouldn't we? Um, let's see, what was I doing? So, for example, Let's take a look at, um, uh, let me pick this for example. If I do 6x minus 7, according to um, this way of looking at it, these are the two that should be congruent to each other. So if I go ahead and set up that equation, that would mean 7x minus 12 would equal 6x minus 7. If I solve this, um, I'm subtracting 6x from both sides like this. That's going to give me x minus 12 is equal to negative 7. Then I'm adding 12 to both sides. This is a long problem. My goodness. That's going to give me x equals um, 5. That's going to give me x equals 5. Okay? So maybe this is going to be another solution, just like x equals 3 was a solution. But just like I did for x equals 3, I need to check and make sure this actually produces congruent sides here. So let's check that out. Um, okay, uh, let's see, I feel like I'm going to change colors again. Uh, okay, so this is what I'm doing. I'm bringing down my 6x minus 7, and I'm bringing down my 7x minus 12. I'm going to see what happens. Okay, if this time I'm taking 5 and I'm plugging it in for x here and I'm taking 5 and I'm plugging it in for x here. So let's see what happens. If I plug 5 in for x here, that's going to make 6 times 5 minus 7. That's going to make 30 minus 7, that's going to make 23. On the other hand, if I plug it in here, that's going to make 7 times 5 uh, minus 12. Okay? So that's going to make 35 minus 12. So again, that's going to make 23. Okay, so that is working once again, but this time these sides are congruent, these green sides like this. Okay, 
and uh, if we do the same thing by plugging uh, 5 in for the 2x plus 3 and then negative x plus 14 um, let me change colors one more time alright see if I can just stretch this out and make space okay so with this one I'll do my 2x plus 3 and here I'll do my negative x plus 14 and I'm just plugging in 5 again seeing if they're the same so this would make 2 times 5 plus 3 that's 10 plus 3 that's 13 um, on the other hand uh oh this one doesn't look like it's going to work for this side over here um, if x is 5 then this is going to make negative 5 plus 14, that's going to make 11. I mean, not 11. That's going to make uh, 9. So close. So close. But these are not equal. Okay? That means the x equals 5 solution is not actually working for us because it has to make everything equal when we do it. Um, so, x equals 5 is not an answer. That means x equals 3 is the only answer that's going to make these uh, triangles congruent. So, I know that was a super long solution. Maybe you'll have to watch the whole thing over again. But the reality is that's what you have to do. That's how you do it.